So people ask us all the time what humus oil is and how it works, how is it different to other things that they've seen before. In general, humus oil is just a way to, to deliver a reaction to the soil that's, that's natural, that appears on organic material everywhere globally. Wherever you have plant material or, or um, collected uh, waste that's, a, that's an organic uh, base, uh, you will have a collection of microorganisms naturally uh, from the environment where that material comes from. So the, the groundswell process, which is used to manufacture humus oil, is specifically designed to stimulate the part of that biological activity which rebuilds organic material. Um, there are lots of other processes that you, that you can use to process uh, organic waste, uh, organic residues of all kinds. Most of those processes are designed specifically to break the material down, to, to um, um, remove uh, portions of that material, digest it, uh, consume it and release various parts of the material to the atmosphere or to other places. The groundswell process uh, which, which uh, results in humus soil is not designed to do that. It's actually designed to stimulate first the breakdown and second the reconfiguration, the rebuilding of the building blocks of organic material. It just so happens that that reaction um, results, if it goes for some time, it results in the formation of humus, results in the formation of, of substances that later become humus and it results in the building in that organic material of the machine, the mechanism, the live uh, biological economy that would normally exist in a healthy soil and which uh, further downstream builds the elements of, of organic conversion that result in humus being formed in soil. The groundswell process allows us to manufacture humus soil. Humus soil is a high humus soil ameliorant. Now, when compared with all of the other products on the market, there is actually no comparison. When you apply humus soil to soil, you do two things. You add humus. But the second thing that happens is that you stimulate the formation of more humus. Now, when that becomes, or where that becomes important, is when we pair it with Accelerate Bio, which is the, the liquid biofertiliser that we manufacture from all sorts of putrescible organics. When you apply Accelerate Bio with humus soil, you stimulate bacterial photosynthesis. So if you like, it's a perpetuation of a cycle that allows for the bioavailability of nutrients, the storage of nutrients in humus, and the building of soil carbon over time. So we're incubating the natural reaction that was there before. We're speeding it up to some extent by providing all the best conditions and some of the food that might bridge a nutrient gap that might exist in the file. Uh, and we're encouraging that, that rebuild process um, to significantly outweigh the breakdown process. The breakdown has to happen. Things have to be returned to soil in some way or another, uh, but if you leave it at that process, all you'll get is breakdown, you'll get release. So what we've done is to trigger uh, the rebuilding of the building blocks of life. Now, point number one in that has to be you can't build organic molecules, you can't build organic um, um, bodies uh, without water. So a key feature of the process that manufactures humus oil is that it stimulates the reaction to manufacture and circulate and provide moisture which is used as a vehicle to transport the nutrients required for that rebuilding process. If you think about that, that's why we don't need to um, uh, turn or add things to the pile to homogenise the reaction that's inside a groundswell pile making humus soil. There are, there are water pathways created by the biological reactions inside the pile that allow the nutrient movement within the pile. 
Um, there, it allows a homogenization. It allows the solubilization of different minerals um, that is needed to rebuild, to re remake the structures of, of organic material, the, the stuff that everybody calls soil organic matter. The really important part of this, given the dosage rates that we actually apply, it means that it's practical and affordable for broad-scale farmers to be able to improve vast swathes of land. They can also do it without adding to their overall carbon footprint. They won't be continuously on the farm utilising machinery and they won't have to rely on tonnes and tonnes and tonnes of material being brought from outside their farm. That's what's happening when you manufacture humus soil and that's what's carried to the soil when you distribute humus soil on a soil or in a soil.